Hello, my beautiful people. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, so, information on getting us is that Tinibu uh, called Super Ego, called Oshime, called all of them. I don't know what he was even calling them for. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, he's calling them ahead of the match against Agola today, which is uh, February 2nd. Let me tell you, I hope Tinibu bad luck will not rub on this guy. Because since Tinibu became president, Tinibu has been a bad luck and disaster. Look at the economy. Look at the state of security. The Tinibu himself, president of Nigeria, oh, the so-called country, some of you, open your dirty brown teeth to call giant of Africa. It's in France, receiving medical health care. Your own parents, many of us, our relatives, our parents can't even get proper health care. President of a full country, more than 200 million is in France, receiving medical care. They say he's going, he might be going for private visit. And some of you, oh, hey God, this Nigeria is very annoying. Some of you, will be, I'm a proud Nigerian. Nothing to be proud about Nigeria. Any of you that is proud about Nigeria is fool. I used to be like that too. I'm a proud Nigerian. There's, I'm a proud Nigerian. There's nothing to be proud. He's in France. He's giving medical care. Calling them. Calling them from France. Hope you will not rub that his bad luck on them. This one is calling them now. What is he even calling them for? What is he? Why don't he ignore it and call dollars? He should have called dollars. So that dollars will fall. Let me tell you, by the way, this dollar will reach 2,500. You see, before the end of this year, that dollar, no matter how they do, because these people, the only way that that dollar can improve in Nigeria is from consumption to production. And I've mentioned ways in this channel how Tinibu can revive Nigeria's uh, consumption, move Nigeria for consumption to production, practical ways. I've mentioned it. I've mentioned ways where uh, 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 we can start from agro processing mechanization of agriculture all those money used to buy a suv for this if like he bought, used it to buy a agricultural machine you don't know we would have we would have you know the, the team would have made a small start a process or those money he used, he used let's say he used it to buy fertilizers and subsidize it for farmers for sure the headsmen in the bush from southern parts that's improving security that's also part of the mechanization of agriculture it's very important you have to be decisive. You have to take action, irrespective of who is God. You don't care. As far as you're doing the right thing. If it's to ban people living in the forest, you should do it. If it's to move all the headers to, to a certain area, you do it. How can... How can he, he, now, he's calling Super Eagles. Calling them for what? I, I want to know. That his impute is, is what? Look, look hey, this Tinibu is so annoying. Eh? Reading the comments is very, is very funny. I remember during that Buhari time, it was sure banker. Now he has called them. I don't think they can win this couple. He has he will infect the team with bad luck. In fact, me, I've already said that this team, I don't even trust them. But funny enough, game after game, they were proving me wrong. Now that this Tinibu has called them, I don't think uh, Tinibu will win uh, Nigeria will win this cup. By the way, there's a guy that has been prophesying all the games. He said I think he was saying the small guinea will win it. You understand? Me, I feel like that Nigerian team, if they concede a go. They might even you know, they might panic and there will be a problem. I don't know. So far, their defense have been watertight and everything, and it looks as if they have been improving game by game. But you can see that the attack is kind of a little bit blunt. It's as if they score with luck or experience of some players. Now that this Tinibu, the destroyer, because I see that Tinibu would destroy Nigeria. Maybe Tinibu wants to destroy Nigeria and now say, okay, let's go regional. Who knows? Maybe that's what I feel is in his mind because they don't have any idea how to move the country forward. Now, what is he calling them for? They call Oshime, they call all of them. Call them for waiting now. This is, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just laughing because if they lose this game today, just know who cost it. You understand what I'm saying? Just know who cost it. This man will infect the team with bad luck. He will infect it with bad luck. Bad luck. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think uh, this Tinibu call is a good call? We don't need this kind of dirty calls from a certificate forger and a drug baron. By the way, if Tinibu was even moving the economy well, many of us would have even, you know, say, oh, okay, let's forgive this uh, old man. You understand? But the economy is sinking. My everybody's complaining except fools who are still living in fantasy line. There's nobody living in Nigeria that is not will not tell you that Nigeria is hard. It has never been this hard. It will even get worse before this year end. Now, it's what is he calling them for? Nonsense and ingredients. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section.
Now that Sinibo has called this team, do you think he has not affected them with their bad luck? Do you think they will win this cup? Even if they win today's game, I don't see them winning this cup. This Sumas bad luck. I've already predicted from the beginning, you know, based on the what I saw, you know, based on reality, that I don't think this team will go far. But they have been proving me wrong game by game. But now Tinibu has called them. He has is a factor. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Nonsense.